Hypertension, or high blood pressure, affects one-third of all American adults and is a major risk factor for many other diseases. It's known as the silent killer because often there are no symptoms or warning signs that you even have the disease. So you may not feel sick until a serious problem occurs, like a heart attack or a stroke. But what exactly is high blood pressure? And when you hear numbers like 140 over 90, what do these numbers really mean? Let's talk about it. Blood pressure is a measurement of the force of your blood against your artery walls or your blood vessel as blood passes through them. High blood pressure or hypertension means that the walls of your arteries are receiving too much pressure against them over and over again. This constant elevation of the pressure in, in a person's arteries is what we call high blood pressure or hypertension. Causes of high blood pressure or hypertension may include narrowing of the arteries, a greater than normal volume of blood, are the heart beating faster or more forcefully than it should. Any of these conditions will cause increased pressure against the artery walls or blood vessels. Over time, this added pressure will cause damage to the blood vessels that carry blood throughout the body because they were not designed for the constant pounding pressure. This damage can lead to many health problems in the body, including atherosclerosis or hardening and blockage of arteries, causing decrease in blood flow to the heart and the rest of the body. So a combination of the damaged blood vessels, the increased blood pressure, and the decreased blood flow forces the heart to pump harder. As a result, the heart can become overworked, begin to fail and enlarge, which can result in angina or chest pain, a heart attack or heart failure. High blood pressure can also cause eye damage or blindness because the small vessels in the eyes can rupture or burst from the increased pressure. High blood pressure is also the leading cause of chronic kidney disease and stroke. So now that you know what high blood pressure is and the damage it can cause, the first step in preventing it or avoiding more severe health problems, if you have it, is to get your blood pressure checked on a regular basis and get it under control if it's high. To determine what your blood pressure is, your doctor will use a blood pressure monitor to check it. The blood pressure monitor will show two numbers which make up your overall blood pressure reading. The first or top number is called your systolic blood pressure. This number is the pressure inside the artery or blood vessel when the heart contracts or squeezes, pushing blood through the arteries. The bottom or second number is called your diastolic pressure. This number is lower than the top number and represents the pressure inside the arteries when the heart is resting or between beats. While these two numbers make up your overall blood pressure, if either or both these numbers are high, you have high blood pressure. To know whether you have high blood pressure, you need to have it checked by your doctor. Once you have your blood pressure reading, this is what you need to know. The best blood pressure to have is around 120 over 80. However, a goal for most people is less than 140 over 90. For those that have kidney disease and diabetes, their blood pressure goal should be less than 130 over 80. In many cases, you may not have symptoms with dangerous levels of high blood pressure. You may not feel bad or sick until it's too late. Some people with high blood pressure do experience symptoms, such as headaches, feeling tired, or feel their heart pounding. The only way to know if you have high blood pressure is to get your blood pressure checked. There are some factors that put people at higher risk for high blood pressure. They are age, a family history of high blood pressure, race, such as African Americans, Native Americans who are higher risk than other groups, and lifestyle choices, including not being active, eating too much salt, and eating too much saturated fats, being overweight, and stress. Whether it's with the help of medicine, or through a healthy, low salt diet and exercise, or a combination of all three, identifying, treating, and preventing high blood pressure is critical to your overall well-being.